in this short video, I will be demonstrating how you can be able to calculate the retention factor. We described before what a retention factor is, so when you're trying to look at the distance that is traveled or moved by the substance rel relative to the distance that is moved by the solvent front. So you've been to the lab, you have actually carried out your TLC experiment or thin layer chromatography experiment. You have your chromatogram and then you want to use that data that you have to calculate the distance that has been traveled by the substance relative to the distance that is moved by the solvent front. This, in this case, all you need to do is just simple. You have your distance moved by the substance and then you just simply divide that by the distance that is moved by the solvent front. So let me give you examples of how to do that. So for example, in this case, you have the first case whereby the dis you've been given the distance traveled by the sample is 1.6 millimeters and the distance that is traveled by the solvent front is uh, 6.5 um, millimeters. So what I've just done here, I've pasted the formula as it is, RF value equals to the distance traveled by the sample uh, then divided by the distance that is traveled by the solvent front. So here an example, the substance or the sample has moved 1.6 millimeters and the solvent front has moved 6.5 millimeters. So just simply divide that and that should actually give you a value that is going to be a retention factor and in this case your retention factor is going to be 0.2 if I round it off to the nearest number, it's just going to be 0.25. And of course, an RF value doesn't have any unit because you have millimeters as distance traveled by your substance or component. And then you have millimeters as distance traveled by your solvent front. The millimeters and the millimeters, all the units cancel out. And then what you end up with is just going to be a unitless or dimensionless value. Let's say if you want to look at the next one, it is going to be 0.5 and then you divide that by a, an, a solvent front or distance travel by the solvent front which is 18 millimeters and in that case when you divide 0.5 by 18 millimeters that should give you around 0.03 which is going to be your RF factor. So you can look at this case, when you look at the next one, it's just gonna be 0.9 divided by 15, which is going to be 0.06 in terms of your relative factor. The next one will be 1.9 divided by 12, which is going to be 1.58. And then the next one is going to be 0.6 divided by 7.8 which is going to be 0 0.08 and then the next one is going to be um, 6 point sorry it's going to be 3.5 divided by 6.8 and there's going to be 0 0.51 and finally you have 5.25 divided by 20 which is going to be 0.26 so you can do this relatively quickly and easy just using